As we prepare for Grandmaster Nightfalls, there's always room on any fire team for the hero guy. That's the guy that when it's last guardian down can run around and revive teammate members and keep the nightfall going. That has always been a role for Hunter Night Stalker to do that, and it has even gotten better when Omninoculus came out. In this build, I'm going to combine the best of my thoughts on Omninoculus from some time ago with portions of the build I did for Season 15 to maximize weapon damage in the PV endgame content. Finally, we can use some of the newer Season 15 mods to overcome some of the changes made this season to avoid well damage protection effects. With this build, you won't necessarily be the DPS king, even though you could be, but you will be able to handle champions, suppress enemies, buff your teammates, and survive to help your fire team through any last man standing moments to finish all the Grandmasters this season. This season Grandmasters include some very difficult and long strikes, and having this build in place can help a fire team that is struggling get over the finish line. So first off, let's talk about the goal of the build. The goal of the build is to keep the battlefield under control and ensure you and your fire team stay alive to finish every Grandmaster you start. To do that, we're going to start with Bottom Tree Night Stalker. Bottom Tree Night Stalker first off has Vanish and Smoke. Throw a smoke bomb that makes you and people near you invisible and gives a buff called Heart of the Pack to anyone that you make invisible. Increases all stats and can buff up to three times every time it is done before the timer expires. Lockdown. Grenades last twice as long. Mobius Quiver, multiple tethers that deal massive damage to tether opponents. Also create orbs and grant nearby allies heart of the pack as well. One of the things with this is it does deal uh, massive damage. You need to tether the enemies first, but then when you do that second tether on top of them, it really can stack and do a ton of damage. Also, you have combat provision. Damage enemies with grenades grants melee energy. Making allies invisible grants grenade energy. Add to this gambler's dodge, it gives you your melee back when you dodge your enemies. Your melee is your smoke bomb, and that makes you and your fire team invisible. So basically, all of your abilities, whether it's your melee, your grenades, or your dodge class ability, allow you to get your other abilities back faster and allow you to buff your fire team and yourself. Then let's talk about the exotic, Omninoculus. Again, in my previous video, I do talk about this a little bit more in depth, and if you aren't familiar with that, feel free to check that out. For Omninoculus, you gain a second smoke bomb charge and you are damage resistant while invisible, which at that point when you do that, that's a 50% damage resistant while you're invisible. When you make allies invisible, they gain the same damage resistant while invisible and you gain melee energy back. So if you buff your two fire team members in say a strike, you will typically get your melee back instantly and allows you to make people invisible, including yourself constantly. Next, let's talk about mods. So first off in the helmet, um, I did Dynamo, which reduces your super cooldown when using your class ability, which in the case is your dodge and your enemies. Again, you're already going to be doing that with Gambler's Dodge and to get your Smoke Bomb back. Also, Well Tenacity, picking up a Void Well, grants you reduced damage resistance around 10% for a short time. This used to be around 10 seconds, but now it's closer to 6. We'll discuss how to improve that and make up for that with other things in this build. On my arms, I use whatever mods I need for champions, and I use Reaping Wellmaker. When you dodge, your next weapon kill spawns a Void Well. Since you're dodging constantly, you'll basically be able to get wells constantly because this isn't a chance. If you dodge, your next enemy kill with a weapon will grant a void well. On my chest, I'm using elemental armaments. Wells, you get those from weapon kills, especially against higher tier targets, and it kind of, it stacks. So if, let's say, you start off some red bars, you kill a bunch of red bars, eventually you're going to get a well. However, if you do a, a yellow bar or something higher, you have increased chances of getting it. So again, killing better, killing higher end targets are going to give you a better chance at wells. This allows you sometimes to get an extra well when you kill enemies because you could be getting them also from your Reaping Wellmaker and from this, especially again against yellow bars and hires. I will also use Concussive Dampener and whatever protection mod I'm looking to use in this case. Whatever strike, I'm running at the time, whatever will give me the best benefit. On legs, I'm using double insulation, which again reduces class ability cooldown when you pick up orbs. You can pick something else, but with my legs being void, that's what I chose. Also, on my legs, I also use another well of tenacity to double my timer for my 10% damage reduction. This brings it to around 11 seconds. Because of the number of wells that can be spawned, I can pretty much have damage resistance for the entire strike. Then on my class, I might use elemental time dilation. This allows my well tenacity to stack twice or even more times. You could also remove elemental armaments and put on another well tenacity if you want to, but I think two is a good amount for keeping you safe during GMs. But again, it's it's an option. It will require having another void armor piece to use. Since this is a stasis class item, I also use utility kickstarter that when you use your class ability, you gain class energy back. 
For weapons, I use whatever weapons I need to handle champions and do DPS to bosses. So in this case, I ran Chroma Rush for Kinetic. I ran Ascendancy in my Heavy for Solar, and then I used Lamonarch. And that's the other reason I didn't use an Exotic in my power. And why Lamonarch, let's talk about that. One of the main reasons I use Lamonarch is even though it doesn't balance out my weapon birds, it does really strong against Overload champions. When you fully draw back Lamonarch and then release it quickly, it actually releases Poison. When you add to that a Precision Hit, it actually does it over an area of effect. This area of effect can not only control and suppress adds, it can actually re-stun champions, keeping them stunned for longer. Also, with having infinite ammo, you now can use it without having to worry about picking up ammo bricks. During the end game portion of Grandmaster or other content you're using, having something like this can help you keep your fire team going when others run out of ammo. So let's talk about how we can bring this together. This build you can see is primarily focused on your Hunter's Dodge ability and gaining Smoke Bomb back so you can keep your fire team buff and safe, but also make yourself invisible when you need to get to safety or res a fire team member who is down. This build will also allow you and your fire team to gain your abilities and supers back quicker with Heart of the Pack. The extra damage resistance you gain from picking up Void Wells is small, but is often enough to help you when you peek behind cover and get that last shot in. This build can also allow you to deal with the primary complaint that people have about elemental well builds, and that you can get across the battlefield while invisible to pick up wells and ammo if you need to during a tense firefight. With Omnoculus, you will never run short on smoke bomb charges, and you will gain smoke bomb energy back with every use. Agla Monarch to this build offers strong champion control and the ability to suppress large groups of adds over time with its poison ability. With this build, you will be able to pull your fire team out of the jaws of defeat and keep them going as they look to finish Grandmasters for loot and the seals. And that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, hop into my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.